everybody. Um, this is a video, as you can tell. Very cool. Yeah. Kind of a phone is that the iPhone 16 point point eight deluxe, bro. What is that? All right, class. Put down those car phones. Russell, did you hear me? Put down that cell phone. I said no cell phones. Just a minute, phones. Mrs. Reynolds. I'm texting my uh, tutor. Give me that phone. You ain't phone. got no tutor. Tutor can't help you. What? In my day, we didn't have car phones and fly wire. Careful, you'll break it. I'm doing you a favor. You I don't think it's a favor. You're gonna get a better education without one. Says who? Bro, that didn't even touch the phone. <gasps> they had a replay. My phone! Dude, she broke it. No, I thought it flew. Anyone else who wants their phone fixed too? No! Oh, my <laughs> them a oh hi! I'm making waffles. Kid, Wanna help me? Kid, Pick kid a Topia. What the? Principal Patterson, can I talk to you? Why, sure, Karen. What is it? We got a problem. With oh, of these course, kids. he's named Karen. Problem? I don't know of any problem. It's these cellular car phones. They Cellu spend all their cellular car phones. I'm on it, and they're not getting a good education. How do you know? What's wrong with that? At Rubble High, we pride ourselves in keeping up with technology. W. Well, you gotta get rid of all these walking, talking phones. Oh my god. Or else expel all these students and get some new ones. No. Expel? Yeah, it's either that or I'm not coming back next fall. It would be better. What's wrong with Reynolds anyways? I don't know. I guess some people no, just it's, don't- It's Karen Reynolds. Re Reggie! <laughs> Reggie, be quiet. Stop barking. Sorry about that. I don't like phones. Russell, you're really into that phone, aren't you? Knock it off. I'm borrowing it from my grandma. Is your grandma ever gonna get back? Why don't you just Sorry, get a my new alien one? Pit bull is I'm trying to get a trade in for my broken one. Reggie, Reggie, be quiet. Attention, students. This is Principal Peterson. I have an important. Earlier, they said his name was Pitsa Principal Patterson. That doesn't make sense. Announcement to make. Effective immediately, we're banning the use of all cell phones at Rebel High. No phones? Oh, looks like you don't need a new phone now. Maybe I need to look for a new school. That's not that big of a deal. Just use it at home. Yo, hey, what honey. is that? Oh, uh, school. School? Those kids are driving me crazy. You're driving yourself crazy. They're not still using those little phone thingies, are they? Yes, they are. Even though I keep asking them nicely. You mean asking them nicely or breaking them? Without Good them. news. I got the solution. And I just got done. Of course you did. Nice green screen. What's that gizmo? Like. This is a cell phone blocker. I thought it was a fire extinguisher. <laughs> cell phone blocker? Does it work on car phones too? Oh my god. This? This works on all signals. Really? Can I take it to school? Of course. That's why I made it. Yo, they need they need mermaid man 
to uh, come in and save the day because this is obviously not good. There's probably going to be, like, some kind of, like, superhero or something that, like, knocks the Karen out and stuff. Like that. I don't know. All right. If you don't Welcome know who Mermaid class. Man is, you'd have no childhood. All right, everyone. Take out your books because today we're going to discuss the molecular composition of yogurt. <laughs> First, we're going to discuss the enzyme protein. What are you doing on the phones? She's some kindergarten. Nothing. I was looking up yogurt chemistry. There will be no phones. Uh, I, I was looking at the summer schedule. Well, I was volunteering for the animal shelter. I was texting my friend. Sorry, excuse my laugh. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was my laugh. That's it! No more of this car phone nonsense! Car phone nonsense, bro. Call phones. They're just calling phones. Oh, my man. Here we go! Bro. What is this? This is the intro. This is the intro. There we go. That's the intro. Bro, her face is like... I don't know. I can't even describe it anymore. Oh, yeah. Sorry for my big break. Hello? Do you have a signal? No, nothing. Same here. Tapping on the screen. What's wrong, babies? Are your toys not working anymore? They're not toys. This thing's a piece of junk. Mine, too. I don't think it's a phone. I think it's a thing that Mrs. Reynolds has. Took it that Is it long blocking the cell signals? Yeah. I need to be online. We should use our Chromebooks. Good idea. Stupid. What's the Wi-Fi password? I don't even see a Wi-Fi network. None here. Me neither. <laughs> Dude, if you don't go to Rebel High, where are you gonna go? Well, wherever it is, they have to allow cell phones. Russell, maybe we'll get lucky and Mrs. Reynolds will leave. Leave? What are you talking about? Rumor has it they're getting rid of the cell phones because of her. Yeah, she threatened to quit. Well, I'm definitely getting a new phone now. I wonder if they make one that's unbreakable. Well, I guess we won't find out until fall because summer starts next week. <laughs> nah. Now that school's out, what will the kids do for the summer? And will Russell be able to get a new iPhone? Shut up, Dora. I don't see any flights to Minnesota. Minneapolis, it's right there. We're not no going geography. to Minneapolis. We're going to Lake Minnetonka. Yeah, there's there's a there's a airport at Lake Minnetonka. Yeah. You gotta fly to Minneapolis to get there. That's where we're headed. The only reason we're going there is because they don't have those cellular car phone things. They better not have those things in Minneapolis. They probably they have it at all the airports, but they won't have it at the lake. That's why we're going. That's why you're so wonderful. You think of everything. <laughs> I do, don't I? Now go get me a wheelchair. Wheelchair? You're not handicapped. Why do you want a wheelchair? That's how you get VIP service. I read it in Women's Day. Girl. Of course, Women's Day. But what happened to Man's Day? Wait. Hey, this woman needs a wheelchair. Sorry, I'm gonna pet my cats real quick. Summer is gonna be so much fun. Video. You guys are gonna love my grandparents' cabin. Nobody I've never gone camping before. <laughs> Neither have I. Really? Well, if you don't include Girl Scouts. <laughs> We're gonna have the best time. There's so much to do up there. I bet there is. But isn't it just some lake in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Oh, I can see where this is going. They have a boat. We can go water skiing, fishing, scuba. I love water skiing. Oh, you mean like scuba duba? Where are you? No, she doesn't, she doesn't mean scuba duba, where are you? Were you recently injured in a car accident? Dang, Look at how this do you get into that kind of an accident? 
Oh no, we're gonna save ghost stories for the campfire. That and s'mores. S'mores. Here we are, gate 27. <laughs> no way, look who's here. Small world. It's Russo. Hey, Evan. You guys going to Minnesota it's too? Russell. Yeah, we're doing scuba duba. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to. We're going to scuba duba. <laughs> My grandpa's cat. Oh yeah, sorry my voice sounds weird. Um, I kind of lost it this morning. Ben? That sounds like so much fun. We're going for the Iron Man competition. Oh, I saw that movie. <laughs> no, it's a competition. Yeah, like running, swimming, biking? Hey, yeah, that's it. Now. We're a team. We should come root for you. Yeah, where is it? Lake Minnetonka. No way! Oh my god, what a coincidence. <coughs> what a coincidence. Hey! Oh, is that like a mini Tonka toy? <laughs> no, that's where my grandparents' cabin is. Mini Tonka toy. There you go. What's that over there? Oh my god, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Go cry about it. It looks like other passengers to me, Karen. Yeah, Karen. They're not passengers! They're kids from my school! Why is she shaking so much? If they're not passengers, why are they at the airport? Well, look at them on their car phones! They better not be flying where we're flying! I don't know, honey. But they don't let car phones on a plane. Well, they didn't take them away at bag check like they did my water. What I meant was that they're not allowed to use them on the plane. Besides, guess what I brought? Oh, I hope it's a sleeping bag so we can camp under the stars. <laughs> Guys, it's Reynolds. <gasps> well, what do we do? Oh Pretend she's not here. Maybe she'll just go on her own way. Are they gonna are they gonna start shaking uncontrollably? Yeah. We're not that lucky. Yeah. Maybe she'll break our phones. Yeah. Well, we don't want to make her mad. I heard she might quit school. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? What are you guys talking about? Maybe we should make her mad. If she quits, we don't have to give up our phone. Why is she in a wheelchair? She walks fine at school. I think she's faking. Why would she fake? She probably lied so Karen. she could get on the plane first. Oh, well, maybe she needs a little payback. Uh, where are you going? Just gonna have a little conversation with the airline. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask you a question? Yes. How can I help you? There's a lady over there in a wheelchair. She's faking. Faking? What is she faking? She's faking that she needs a wheelchair. Oh, well, I'm going to have to have a talk with her. My she doesn't even, like, say, like, how do you know? Like, how do you know? Like, what is that? My thoughts exactly. What is that? Excuse me, ma'am. What is it, miss? What exactly do you think you're doing? I'm supposed to board first. That chair is reserved only for passengers requiring assistance. Yes, I know that. How do you think she got it? In accordance with airline policy, I'm going to need to see your doctor's note. Ooh! Honey, give her the doctor's note. Fine. Fine. Take your buggy back. I thought so. Oh, hey, Brenda. Hi, Chet. I haven't seen you in a while. Are you working the Minneapolis run? Yeah, it's nice to be back on a smaller craft. They're so fun to fly. Yeah, they're great. As long as both bathrooms work. Bathrooms? Is there something wrong with the craft? Yeah, the pump went out on the port side head, so it's out of service right now. Port side head? Are you telling me we only have one bathroom? It's only a two hour Ooh. flight and we still have one. But we are full. 
you know what? We'll be fine. Well, in that case, I better get first in line. Totally Airlines, flight 445, oh, with it's, it's, nonstop service to totally Minneapolis St. Paul, will begin pre-boarding at gate 27. Twenty-seven. Ah, window, just like I like, and I got the aisle. That's what I like about this. Nobody wants the middle seat. Yes, we have the whole row. It's practically like flying first class. Now boarding all remaining. I love how just like nine chairs are the same and then the rest behind them with the green screen are completely different. Passengers. They couldn't even try. Can't even get a suitcase or anything. God. Where's Russell sitting? Oh, he's up there. It's you! Average movie moment. Why are you on my flight? It's not your I'm flight. I'm going to Lake Minnetonka. It's not your flight, it's our flight. Lake Minnetonka? That's where we're going. So, Mrs. Reynolds, are you doing like a science camp or something? No, I'm going to get away from car phones and the internet and those kinds of things. But aren't mobile phones and all that, like, science related? All seats and tray tables must be in their upright and locked positions. And all phone and electronics must be in airplane mode at this time. Hey! I'm three rows ahead of you. You won't believe who I'm sitting next to. She said no phones! The plane isn't moving yet. Is that Mrs. Reynolds I hear? What's her problem? If you want to talk to him, he's right over there. You're right. Hey, I'll be there in a second. <sighs> he seems like a nice boy. He's nothing but trouble. How do you know? All checks complete. We're clear for takeoff. She's saying no phones. It's like we're still in the classroom. What is her deal anyway? And now she's annoyed about my new phone. Before takeoff, all passengers must be seated. Yeah. No talking on the phone. I'm not talking. I'm texting. Yeah, boomer. Totally Airlines would like to introduce you to our new roaming mobile card. For the low price of $10, you can have unlimited mobile access for the duration of this flight. Hey guys, they got Wi-Fi on board. Yeah, we heard. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah, but I can do mobile sharing with my phone. That means we can split it. Yeah, it's only like $2 each. Let's do it. You guys can pay me back later. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Can I get one of those $10 Wi-Fi cards, please? Mobile access, of course. I'll be right back with your login. Oh, miss! Yes, ma'am. And what can I do for you? Why are you ignoring me? I need something to drink. Well, how is she supposed to know? My, that's unusual. Uh, oh, my husband made that. He's a tinkerer. And tinkerer. can you bring me a bottle of red? Yes, ma'am. Right away. Just like your credit card. <laughs> I'm so sick of these car phones! Car phones, bro. What is that, bro? Like... My phone stopped working. Me too! What's with the plane? 
What will you do but with what your is that? newfound freedom? Oh that my shopping God. made fast Amazon. and easy it only exist. in the Amazon it's app. Crazy. <coughs> 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 Reynolds turned on that phone blocker thing again. I think it's messing with the avionics. What's that? The thing that flies the Your plane. Mom. Well, I have to go tell somebody. You know that Russell is such a hero. I wish such the a other hero. boys in school were like him. Brenda, we've lost radio controls. Captain Connors, I can barely hear you. What is going on? That's the point. Something's interfering with our transponders. Well, what do you want me to do? A passenger must be using some sort of radio transmitter in the cabin. Transmitter? Okay, I'll, I'll try to find it, but what, what, do you, what do you want me to look for? Look for something unusual, like some sort of electronics. That gives me an idea. No, I thought it would just be a piece of paper. Will do. Mike! She's coming over! Mike? Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds. We know what you're up to. Give me that gizmo. Mike, give me the blocker. Give me that. She holds it up like... Oh, um, I don't know. In a way, he doesn't notice. Nice cut scene. <sighs> Peace and quiet. In a way, she just broke two phones. Have you seen my phone? It was right here before I went to sleep. Stuff. Oh, maybe it fell out the window. Hey, nice excuse. The airplane window? Uh, those don't open. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to keep track of your car phone for you? It's not a car phone. Car phone, plane phone, whatever. No way. Russell's phone is missing. Oh, what no. could Mrs. Reynolds have done with it? Captain? Wait, what is that? Russell's phone is missing. What could Mrs. What could Mrs. Reynolds have done with it? Reynolds have done with it. Captain? Bathroom number two is out of order. It's backed up and flooding. No more number two? We can't fly without a bathroom. Well, I hope we get there soon. I'm not sure how much longer these passengers can hold out. I'm gonna have to radio the tower. We need to make an unscheduled bathroom stop. Okay, I, I will make the announcement. You guys, both the bathrooms are broken now. I thought only one of them was broken. Yeah, that's why there's a long line. No, the toilet has backed up and there's water coming out of the door. Passengers, may I have your attention, please? We are unable to resolve the bathroom issue, so we will be making an unscheduled stop in Louisville. Thank you for your understanding. I think I found the problem in the bathroom. What is it, Tom? Somebody flushed this down the toilet. That's not wife. Why would somebody flush a brand new phone on an airplane? Well, it must be somebody who really hates phones. How are we gonna figure out who did it? I think we have our answer. This was in there, too. I'm gonna have Brenda see if there's a Karen Reynolds on this flight. Oh my God. Ma'am, it's time for you and your husband to leave the flight. Good, because I need to use the restroom. But we better not be stuck in this little airport for very long. Yeah. No, I don't think you understand. It's because of you that we had to make this landing in the first place. 
What do we have to do with all this? We know that it was you that flushed the iPhone in the laboratory. Laboratory. Oh yeah! Yeah, his phone! Cause he's always on that car phone! He's always just like a part of his body! He's on it in the airplane, he's on it inside the airport, and he's even on it at school! Are you going to leave on your own? Because the authorities are waiting at the gate for you. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Come on, Mike. It's not like me to make a scene. Cause I'm so sorry. Karen shiny. took a vacation to get away from cell Shut phones up, and students. But oh, it looks like her summer, summer plans it's have 